Greetings, my friends. Yes, today is Wednesday, and it is time for our motivational moment. You know, I was in the kitchen preparing for Thanksgiving dinner, and while I had already been meditating on what today's message would be about, I realized that time had gotten away from me and I thought I need to stop what I'm doing and record our message for today. One of the things that I've been thinking about is this whole idea of perspective. I've heard a lot about 2020 and um, per perfect vision or perfected vision and so on and so, so forth. And we get so caught up in these cliches and such that we really lose sight of what is most important. And so uh, I want, really wanted to talk about our ability to change our perspective or to change our ideas or our vision. Because vision is definitely, our perspective is definitely about our vision. And so tonight's scripture, I want to look at um, Philippians chapter 4, verses 8 through 9. And of course, I love the message translation because it is very practical. And it reads as such, summing it all up, friends, I say, you'll do best by filling your minds and meditating on things true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious, the best, not the worst. The beautiful, not the ugly, things to praise, not things to curse. Put into practice what you learned from me. This is Paul speaking to us. What you heard and saw and realized. We realized in our perspective. And he further stated, do that and God who makes everything work together will work you into his most excellent harmonies. And that again is um, Philippians chapter 4 verses 8 through 9 in the message translation. And so as we embark upon this whole holiday season, you know, there are so many statistics that state that, you know, people are most um, depressed during this time and they, you know, they feel the most lonely during this time. But really what I want you to do is challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Don't wait until 2020 as you know, others are encouraging folks to look at 2020 as a year perfected vision. But think about what your perspective is right now. It is never too late. It is never too early. So I want you to think about that as you are going throughout and moving throughout the holidays this week and you're spending time with family and you're really reflecting upon those things which, uh, for which you're thankful. And I don't know about you, but every day for me is a day of thanksgiving. God has been so, so good to me, far beyond what I deserve. And so I hope that you'll take this moment to reflect. I didn't want to get too deep. I know that you all are with your families and you don't have a lot of time to really stop and maybe, you know, not to listen to today's motivational moment. But if you do, I do hope that you will find some encouragement and it will help you to really refocus and to um, relook at some things that you may have turned away from during the, these difficult seasons in your life. But it is really all about perspective. It's all about how you see things. We've heard of the half, uh, the glass half empty, glass half full uh, concept. So it's really all about how you see it. I don't know about you, but either way, whether the glass is half empty or half full, I look at it as having opportunity to have an impact, whether it's on my life um, specifically or whether it's on someone else's life um, attached to me. So do give thanks. Do give thanks in this moment for where you are, but also begin to celebrate where God is about to take you. You are about to expand exponentially. You are about to expand far beyond what your finite mind can conceive. So I challenge you today that you think on those things according to 
Philippians 4. Think on those things which are true. Think on those things which are noble. Think on those things which are pure and uh, are of good report. We don't want the bad stuff. We know that life brings enough negativity on its own, but we have the power. The word of God says that there, the power of life and death lies in our tongue. And so we must begin to speak those things which are of life, which are of positivity, which are of truth, which are of nobility, which are of reputability. Those are the things that we should speak on. So I say to you, happy Thanksgiving, enjoy your families, and I assure you that we will be back here again on next Wednesday for our motivational moment. God bless you and happy Thanksgiving.